On Your Mark currently runs Dayhab programs out of four sites, Mallory, 120 Victory, 1755 Victory, or what we call Prime, and Arthur Kill. And when we're able to resume typical activities, we also provide services at the ICC, as well as our award-winning cafe on Forest Avenue. Individuals that attend these programs are engaged in activities from the minute they enter the site to the moment they leave. We serve individuals of all abilities and ensure that we provide everyone with unique activities that fit their needs. So I had asked Fabio what the purpose of doing the motor and he had said, we do this to practice demanding the body to do what we want it to do. We also provide Zoom programming for those that are not yet comfortable receiving our services in person. We keep each day fun and interactive. As we're all aware, Zoom has become the new normal for us to connect with our peers. Dayhab directors Joanna Arroyo, Danielle Kazde, and their staff have worked hard to create virtual programming that's engaging and informative. But before we do, what do we gotta do, Allie? We gotta buckle in with these eight and 10 questions. We gotta test our brains, right? Keep those brains sharp while we're all at home. Now, starting from the very beginning of CNN 10, we visited a couple of colleges and colleges enrollment is down. Can anyone tell me the drop in enrollment? It is a percentage. It's in a percentage. They had mentioned a percentage. What's the percentage, Ms. Carini? Uh, three. Three percent, that is correct, Ms. Carini. Together, we have been able to create and bring Zoom classes to our participants daily. Seeing individuals who may have had challenging days participate and thrive on Zoom has opened my eyes on new ways to encourage and teach not only them, but myself and our staff. The individuals can engage in a variety of activities, including book study. What country, what country is this taking place in? Uh, nothing. England, you got it. Very Excellent. good. Thank you. Cooking and physical fitness. The presentations also delve into current events and holidays. Well, each one of them is like really uh, different. Like this week we're learning about uh, Friday afternoon, we're learning about the Oscars and and uh, sometimes we, we, we cook, like during the fall, we made, we made this really good uh, cinnamon apple cider donut cake that was so good. <laughs> and then we tried it, we tried to make, make the, uh, the donut cake ourselves and, and it came out really good. We also do uh, the book club. We're, we're up to our ninth book. Um, yeah, we're up to Harry Potter and the Cha Chamber of Secrets. Somebody does like the audio book and I follow along and then stop it and they answer like some of the, uh, the questions in the book. We do yoga. Uh, we do um, the, the sit down workouts. We do the Gina B ones. We do a whole, whole, whole bunch of like different ones. Tuesday afternoon and Thursday afternoon, we usually do like a, a dance party and we put the uh, so songs. Like I usually wait for the, uh, the Zoom schedule to come up so I can jot down like what, what song we would go for the, for the Zoom lessons. First, I could just say how impressed and thankful I am to the incredible staff who put these Zoom meetings together or uh, these uh, different programs and, and how informational and educational they are and interactive. You know, um, Janine's been home since last January of 2020. So once these Zoom meetings started, it has been an, an awakening for her because it truly gives her something to look forward to or, Every day, twice a day, the schedules come and she gets all excited about them. It is actual work that they're doing. It's actual learning that they're doing. It's been a, a very productive time in a very um, difficult situation. And one more thing that I find 
um, so great is the way that they respect the individuals that they are talking to and when they answer and even if it's not the right answer there's such a respectfulness and that does my heart good when i hear that my name is alexander matiz and this is 120 i'm the program coordinator here doing dance and exercise we have a dance teacher fortunately her name is carissa gambardella and we have a fitness coach her name is uh elaine babino uh, six feet apart and keeping their mask on, washing their hands as soon as they come in, before and after they use the bathroom. My favorite part of the day would definitely be Fridays, karaoke Fridays. Uh, there's a dance party from 12.30 to 1.30. Uh, some of the individuals get up and they perform some of their favorite songs. They perform their songs. I get up there, I do my thing with them. Uh, we all just get involved and it's a really fun time. Uh, the benefits of coming to programming, I guess would be, you know, come here, you learn something, get exercise, you're, you're active, you're enjoying different um, activities. Some of our guys enjoy uh, the horticulture. Um, you know, they love dance, they love art. So we do plenty of things here. Hi, my name is Joelle Bellotti and I am the Assistant Director of Community-Based Day Habilitations. So a typical day here at the Mallory uh, Day Have location is the individuals are provided a schedule by their coordinator, Matt. And um, there's a lot of restrictions due to COVID and the pandemic. So we try to make as many creative activities indoors as possible. So we do a CNN every day where we talk about news and keep everybody in the loop. And we will continue with maybe an obstacle course, some sort of physical fitness. And then we try to be as creative as possible with other opportunities, such as uh, categories or a Pictionary game or socialization, just to keep everybody um, continuing and growing and educating themselves. So in this time, On Your Mark has undergone a lot of changes. Uh, our day habs have actually merged. So that's a, a good thing because I think that we've been able to create intimate settings for all the individuals and to be able to, to get to know them again and, and really just get involved in, in making person-centered schedules, finding exactly what they wanna do. So currently that's what we're doing. We have activities meetings and we talk to them about what preferred activities they want into the day hab and we're able to do that for them. Um, moving forward in the future, we hope to get everybody back. I know there's a lot of people that are still at home and there's individuals in their group homes and we miss you <laughs> and we want to be able to get you back into a, a day hab that is suited for everyone. Hopefully we get to see everybody happy, healthy as soon as possible. From potting plants to movement and dance, there's something for everyone here at On Your Mark.